Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Tuesday, March 22nd. It is the second day of the arbitration. Yesterday, rough day. It was rough for first couple of hours. Um, in the very beginning, and this is a learning lesson for me, um, my boss always wants us one page behind her because otherwise if we're on the same page that she is, it like messes her up. So I always wait until page two because I always have the first section. I always wait until page two to start editing. And when I did, I realized that she had audio playing over top of the proceedings. So I was not able to understand it. So when something like that happens, we were told by her to turn the entire transcript it italics because that's something that we don't do. So I did that. I waited like five or 10 seconds and then took it off. And then I tried to call her, but she didn't pick up. So then I was messaging her this and that. Well, she didn't care for that. Meaning she finally fixed it on page four but I couldn't edit those pages until later on in the day when we got the videographer's audio. But that was just such an awful start to the day. And the team had forgotten a bunch of stuff, which I expected that because it's been three months since we've had this. By the end of the day, I felt like we were getting more into it. But um, I saw an email that she was drafting to send to me about yesterday. And so I responded to it. I copied in and responded to it because it's just, I feel like, and this is again, the situations are through just our own perception, right? I feel like that constantly it's just pointed out what we're doing wrong. Not that we're doing a good job or handling it because yesterday was just so, oh my God. Um, I'm praying today is smoother because now we have the first day under our belt. It has to be. I just got to get through these two weeks. So there is that. Um, got a new sweatshirt. I bought this off eBay for like 13 bucks. I love the Under Armour, like the storm fleece, like the, I like this pattern. Um, this is like my pink one I have. My pink one that I've had is like six years old, like, and it doesn't even look like it's six years old. But so I have a search for it to send me. People are constantly selling these on eBay. I like the inside because the inside's like hot pink. But yeah. So I did do some stitching yes last night because I told Bill I refuse to let this arbitration for me not to stitch for two weeks. That's not going to happen. So I stitched for about 45 minutes last night while listening to podcast. Remember, I'm working on... Heart and Hands Imprints, Berries, and Blooms. I am stitching mine on DMC 14 Count Printed Ada in the color Sand. And I got done most of the last berry. So I am uh, doing mine in DMC color variations. <clears throat> so tonight I'll definitely finish this because I only have... Well, I have one, two, three, five rows and then the, uh, the stem. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, depends on how tired I am, but yeah, it's coming along and then I'll move, I'll stitch the bloom one over here and then do the journal entry. Now I did get the paper, the scrapbook paper and the stickers I ordered for this layout. The stickers are a little bigger than I thought and it really doesn't go with this pattern, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I liked it. So that's how that's going to happen. That's going to be a very simple layout. So that's what I did yesterday. And then I also got, remember I told you I bought um, some ribbon, vintage like torn ribbon off of Etsy for the junk journal and it came in. So this is the ribbon. Um, I love it. I think it looks really good. It's thicker than the ribbon that is used in my other junk journals, but I loved that it was like teal and pink flowers. So yeah. I think it looks great with a ribbon closure. And this ribbon is long enough that when I start filling this one, I my plan is to start doing this one next year um, because it's monthly themed. So 
yeah, next year I want to do this one. So, um, but yeah, I, this will allow me to, the journal to expand without, you know, too much trouble, but absolutely love that ribbon. And no purchases, nothing came in the mail yesterday. I don't really have anything outstanding. I don't think, no, I don't think so. No. So talking point for today, and this has been like in these Mirabilia groups for a while. So Tiger Lily is one of the very first pixies that Nora Corbett came out with. And for some reason, it's out of print now. People have lost their damn minds about it. Um, someone said yesterday on the Mirabilia group, they saw a used Tiger Lily pattern on eBay for $325. Are you insane? And there are a bunch of comments and people are like, that's totally ridiculous. I would never pay that for a chart. And this person made a good um, point. They said, I don't know why they get retired when so many new stitchers coming on the scene want to stitch them. I don't know what the purpose of that is either. Someone said, even if I had that money, I would do another design rather than pay that much on principle. I mean, the Pixies, I want to say they're like $12 retail, something like that, $325. And um, someone says, I could have retired years ago on what some Beanie Babies are listed for. Back in the day, back when I was married to my first husband, I sold and traded Beanie Babies. I was doing it on eBay. I had a section in our house where I would go to Beanie Baby trade shows. Don't even, like, I got some stories. Um, and it was a lot of fun. My grandmother used to come with me to the shows. Um, it was a thing. It, there was even a Beanie Baby magazine that was out. Yeah, like, it was crazy. Um, but yeah, so have you guys ever seen... a pattern listed at a ridiculous price or even better, have you ever bought one at an inflated price? Now, I did buy the Monopoly chart. I did pay $60 for that from Arlene. My McKenna sold it for her. I, I don't, first of all, love to support them. Don't mind that. Um, that pattern is from the 80s. I had no problem paying $60 for it. Some of you may be like, oh my God, what the hell? Um, I would not be paying $325 for Tiger Lily though. I do know that. But have you? Leave down in the comments if you have either seen a ridiculously priced pattern or you have bought one. Okay. Um, today's OMG moment. I There are so many people stitching this right now. Um, Stitching with the Housewives, their home series where you, the O is a different wreath every month, I think. This person stitched it and it just looks amazing. So I wanted to show theirs. This is Karen. Doesn't it look gorgeous how she framed it? And I'm guessing she did it so she can just pop out the O and put the other O in there. Let me tell you, I applaud anyone who has stitched this because stitching all that white for H, M, and E, that's a lot of white. On a dark fabric, mind you. People are doing it on black or navy. It looks gorgeous, though. And I have to say, I don't know how uh, Chelsea and Priscilla just crank out those patterns like nobody's business. They just have done so much with their business and it, it's just so amazing. They must, they must make time in the, they must invent time. They must be able to stop time. <laughs> so they have more time in the day, right? Okay. So we are going to read a motivational story today because I have to be able to, it is about, what time is it? 9.17. And I got to be able to have a cup of coffee and eat something before today starts. I have until 10 a.m. So but we are going to read. I started a new book. I finished the reunion last night. Really loved it. 
I have uh, Kirsten Mogwin's page linked now in the description box so you guys can check out. I'm going to be reading all of her books. The next one I'm going to be reading is called The List, and I haven't started it yet. But they're all available on Kindle Unlimited, which is the best part about it. All right, today's story... Okay, I've read that one before. Okay. This story is called Your $86,400 Bank Deposit. This should be a good one. Imagine you had a bank account that deposited $86,400 for $86, each morning. The account carries over no balance from day to day, allows you to keep no cash balance, and every evening cancels whatever part of the amount you had failed to use during the day. It's a lot of money to spend in a day. What would you do? You would draw out every dollar each day, right? We all have such a bank. Its name is time. Every morning it credits you with 86,400 seconds. Every night it writes off as lost whatever time you have failed to use wisely. It carries over no balance from day to day. It allows no overdraft so you can't borrow against yourself or use more time than you have. Each day the account starts fresh. Each night it destroys an unused time. If you fail to use the day's deposits, it's your loss and you can't appeal to get it back. There is never any borrowing time. You can't take, it, take a loan out on your time or against someone else's. The time you have is the time you have, and that is that. It is yours to decide how you spend the time. It is never the case of us not having enough time to do things, but the case of whether we want to do them and where they fall in our priorities. Remember, before I continue, remember that one of the, I think one of the unfuck yourself entries I read was that or no, it was in one of the books that I was reading. It says, life isn't short. We just waste a whole lot of it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the clock is ticking. Invest your time wisely in your health, happiness, and success. To know the importance of a year, ask the students who failed the next grade. To know the importance of a month, ask a mother who gave birth to a premature baby. To know the importance of a week, ask the editor of a weekly magazine. To know the importance of an hour, ask someone waiting to meet his or her lover. To know the importance of a minute, ask the person who missed his flight or ask the person who saw a car accident happen in front of them. To know the, impo okay, to know the importance of a second, ask the person who just avoided an accident. And to know the importance of a millisecond, ask the Olympic silver medalist runner. Yeah, I mean, time is probably our greatest resource. And I really, really try to go through each day not wasting time, if I can possibly help it. When I have... Um, little pockets of time during the day from the arbitration. I may have 10 minutes here and there. I am putting away laundry. I read some yesterday. Oh, I've put the rest of my stickers down on my table, which I'll show you in a second. I Sometimes I do just sit because this, you need to just sit and rest your brain. But yeah, I really feel like I don't waste time in my everyday life my crafts, my reading, spending time with Bill, talking on the phone to family, none of that is a waste of time. Um, even when I'm watching Netflix or playing a video game or something, to me, it's not wasted time. It's not. Um, you have to decide that for yourself though, right? Okay. We are going to do how to continue to unfuck ourselves in 2022. I'm tired as hell today. Oh, that was a good tear. <laughs> okay, this one is a good one. You have to claim, and they put claim in bold. You have to claim your greatness. 
who's at the front door? It could be somebody just walking by. Sometimes our ring doorbell will catch somebody just walking in front of the driveway. Yes, I feel like you do. You you have to claim your own greatness because no one is going to do it for you, surely. And it's all relative. Um, success is relative. Some people, yeah, it's relative. So however you think greatness is, go and get it. Go and get it. And a lot of you are. Yeah. I'm probably going to save that for one of my junk journal entries. But okay, I'm going to end this here so I can get a cup of coffee in my system. I hope you guys all have a fantastic Tuesday. As always, if you, oh, wait a minute, I want to show you the table. Let me show you. I tried to post it on Instagram, but um, it doesn't, the picture is too big. So I'm going to flip you guys around. Oh, look at that, right? Now, some of you said that they've done something similar and they put Mod Podge over the stickers because they started to peel up over time. I'm not worried about that. I really don't do very much with this, ta with this table, except it's where the tripod rests every day when I'm doing this video. I'm not sitting here doing stuff on this table. I just wanted to decorate it with stickers. I think it looks really good, doesn't it? And if some start to peel up, I'll just put, I'll just buy more stickers and put other stickers down. It's, it's not a huge deal. But I just love it so much. I like this one. You were born an original. Don't die a copy. I have two perfectly imperfect ones. That's one of my favorite ones. You were born an original. Don't die a copy. But some of these are so cute, right? And then this one. <laughs> Michael's face in the when he was talking about um, what it's like being in prison, which he has no idea. But that was a really funny episode. But yeah, so as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.